Oh my god. Oh. Somebody call a doctor. Bad medicine is back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. I am the Appleton Oak. Guys, we are starting season four of Stranger Things, of course. Netflix absolutely knocked it out of the park with season one through three. They did. Developed their own cult following on this uh, Netflix original. Season four just dropped, and we are excited. Yes, we are. Um, no expectations coming into this. I just know I've been really excited for all these seasons, so I'm just looking forward to what we got coming up here. <clears throat> Early reviews, it's darker this season than it's been in the past. However, the cast has aged. They're growing up, so Love it only it. makes sense that the storyline kind of ages with them, but uh, from what I hear, a lot of twists and turns, a lot of fun surprises, so only one way to find out. And on that note, let's go! Puzzle action. I like always like looking at the fine details of the newspaper to try to catch little hints that they drop in. I'm trying to, but they these are some fast cuts. Yeah, these are real fast. Bonsai! <laughs> Bonsai! <laughs> Is this Eleven's? Uh, I knew it by the hair. Loud and Swain. Oh, making the cars move without... Okay, cool. Look at that hairdo. That is <laughs> full. How are you feeling today? Okay. Are you up for some more lessons? Signs point to yes. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Everything about this building is creepy with the white tiles and... Eleven. Now what'd you say? Cow? It's supposed to be a dog. <laughs> it looks like a cow. I want you to find Dr. Ellis. What's she doing? Lessons with six in this room. Can you hear what they're saying? Something is wrong. <laughs> Oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, she's toast, dude. <laughs> Six and Dr. Ellis. Dead. Oh, no. Dude, what? So, what the hell's out there? Oh, that got me. <laughs> that got me. Oh, right as I'm taking it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, he just got smoke with the door. Oh no, he's done. Oh, look at the hands. Did you see that? No, no. It was all clawed up. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, this is real messed up. Oh, dude, this is brutal. Eleven. What have you done? Did they digitally? Or was this stuff that was shot before? Oh, she's bleeding from the eyes and both nostrils. What? What an open dude. <laughs> wow, that was intense. I was not at all ready for that. No. Dude, that I I don't know what kind of expectation I had in my head, but it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, that was intense. Oh, wow, I can't all the kids she took them out was that her doing that i don't or did she stop whatever did it i'm i'm still That's a good really question. i shouldn't assume i'm still really confused about what happened there today is day 185 we are all time travelers if you think about it i have to make something called a visual aid <laughs> <laughs> i hope mrs gracie will give me an a joyce got an amazing new job she gets to work at home. Will is painting a lot. God, it's crazy at this age how much these kids grow from season to season. Jonathan is acting weird also. <laughs> I, I wonder why. He's about college. <laughs> He's still waiting for his big letter. 
His funny friend Argyle has been taking us to school. He and Jonathan like to smoke smelly plants together. Smelly so, plants. Jonathan said plants are super safe <laughs> because, because they, they come from the earth. See, this was more the start I was thinking of. Right? <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> Catching up with everybody. Not that wild, crazy shit that they started with. Miss you. She's Love. getting good. Ow. There he is. What the hell are you doing? It's 10 after. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's in the tidy whiteies. Hellfire Club. I wonder how many uh, Hellfire Club t-shirts are going to be seen around now. It's a 6.30 flight. Nine or no California. And no sweetie pie. How am I going to survive a whole week without you guys? Pop tarts. <laughs> Pop tarts. I mean, does does anyone really heat up a Pop tart anymore? I couldn't tell you the last time I actually put a Pop tart in the toaster. Toaster strudel, you got to heat up. Agreed. Pop tarts, just grab at the gas station at room temperature and go to town. Just go. Drop a comment below if you still heat up your Pop Tarts. <laughs> there he hey! is. Yes. Just hold your horses, Dusty Bun. Dusty Bun. I hope they give us a lot of nicknames for these two in this season. A A D minus. <laughs> ah, Jesus <laughs> is watching. <laughs> I will repent later. <laughs> hey, he's got an A in Latin. All right. We both know what this is about, okay? I'm not buying that bullshit. This is about Vic. You gotta stop pretending to be someone else when you're around her, okay? You just gotta just gotta be yourself. Pause at 53 minutes, five seconds. Do you know who pauses fast times at 53 minutes, five seconds? People who like boobies, Ew, Robin. Gross. Boobies, say boobies. Not a big Be deal, okay? I like boobies. You like boobies. Boobies. Vicky <laughs> likes boobies, definitely. <laughs> That's funny. The, the, they know the exact time you had to pause that time. I my eye. That is that so was, awesome. That was definitely like that back in the day. Not that we're speaking from experience or no, anything. Why? Who would who would have ever nah. paused movies when they were watching them on VHS at any time Get like that? AOL Instant Messenger. Hey, it's six minutes, 37 seconds. <laughs> Just that Susie's like a certified dingy. You do realize Elle saved the world twice, right? <laughs> what does his ad say? I want that ad. There he is. Our man's on the basketball team. Without your support, we wouldn't be here. Give yourselves a big hand. It's been a tough year for Hawkins. In dark days like this, we need something to believe in. <laughs> Don't say the basketball team. <laughs> when we were down by 10 points at half to Christian Academy, <laughs> I looked at my team. Oh, no. <laughs> Think of Billy. Billy. Think about our heroic police chief, and Jim Hoffman. Think about each and every one of our friends who perished in that fire. What did they die for? For us to lose to some, some crap school? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Turn home with our, our heads hung low in defeat? Let's win this game for them. And that's exactly what we did. We're going to bring home the championship trophy. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Thinking cap. They call it a tournament. Thinking cap. Oh my god. I need that at. Just talk to Eddie. Get him to move Hellfire to another night. Why don't you just talk to your coach and get him to move the game? <laughs> you know, this is an interesting dynamic that you see a lot in real life where you have kids that are real tight when they're in elementary school and grade school, but as you get into high school and people have different interests or sports or different sort of clubs and stuff like that, they can really drift apart. Especially in sports, because if you excel and you didn't know you had that talent. I'll be in the popular crowd. Work. I'm tired of being bullied. I'm tired of feeling like a loser. Just talk to Eddie, get him to move Hellfire. Come to my game. Hey, that's fair. That is you fair. For some support All right. for a big time moment. When uh, these games can be moved easily. You ever that wished music. you could have the answer to any question right at your fingertips? She sells encyclopedias. <laughs> That's what she does. Those, those big fancy books you see on TV. Yeah, what is this? Cheryl? Can I oh, from Russia. Hopper. What? <laughs> okay. That can't be what he, the only thing he sent. There's something more here. I chose my dad. I made 
a derayama. More like diarrhea. <laughs> this is my dad. He made the best egos Wh and... <laughs> what is he saying? Wait, what? <laughs> oh because God. I'm just like confused. I thought this was a presentation about a historical hero. My dad was in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be about famous people? He was a hero for people. Oh, she's getting mad. This is not going to end. Power, so uh, well, the, the emotions might bring it back. I just wanted clarity on the rules of the assignment. That smug look. Wow, the tension between these two. Wonder what that was all about. They're going with some Sounds interesting, like... interesting music okay. choices. Nothing like super popular. All mm -hmm. kind of new wave. How's your mom holding up? She hates our new place. Which, like, she's fine. Is she still drinking? Oh, ouch. Yeah, a little, but she's working two jobs. So no more headaches, nightmares. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, show it again. What is this? A ticket to the game. I know you never want to go to any of my games, but this one is kind of a big deal. A big deal? Lucas, you really care about this? Yeah, I, I do. Maybe you should find something that you care about, too. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's like you're not even here anymore. Well, kind of have been checked out. People just change, okay? I've changed. Good luck. What a burn. I know losing her brother was a big deal, but yeah, wow, they're really showing the effects of it. She's going through some stuff. I think losing somebody close to you at that age is probably is not like it's easy at any age, but when you're really still trying to find yourself and your siblings are also, you know, friends and and people that you confide in, you know, hormones, everything, it's probably especially tough. Uh -oh. oh, no. Is that the cheerleader that came hey, out of the counseling right. office? It is I'm, I'm fine. Oh no. Please just go away. Maybe make it sound like you went away and just give it five minutes to make sure she <laughs> really bad happens. Chrissy? Dude. Mom? What is this? Chrissy? Oh my god, what is Did this? Did you hear me? Dude. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? What was what that? She on? Oh, I shouldn't say on anything like that, but God. you know what I mean. That Are was intense. Monster feet? Wow. Harmless game of make -believe. That, that was intense. And psychology is concerned, saying it promotes satanic worship. Isn't it wild that like when kids were playing Dungeons and Dragons in the 80s, this was like a real thing? Like people thought it was just crazy and wild. Like I remember that. Like you can't let your kids play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Lucas has to do his uh, balls and laundry baskets game. So he's not going to be able to make it to Hellfire tonight. Thinking that may maybe we postpone. Oh, oh, no, I don't, I don't want to postpone it. We don't want to postpone it. It's just that most of the subs will be at the championship game. I am army crawling my way toward a D in Miss O'Donnell's. I'm going to walk that stage next month. I'm going to flip in the bird. I'm gonna snatch that diploma and I'm going to run like hell out of here. <laughs> Did you say that last year and the year before that? Yeah. Oh, he's one of those guys who's like 20 and still in high school. <laughs> yes. Every high school had one of had those. One. A dude who's like 20, 21. And all you guys got to do is get your Bo Peeps on and go and find one. All right, dude needs to go. They need to get out of that Hellfire group. <laughs> One to yes. three on Fridays. So let me see if I have this right. He's back. And you believe it's from Russia. <laughs> Should I be worried? I would be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the porcelain cracked and they tried to glue it back together. Okay, okay. Uh, Break it apart. Rope and something heavy. I call it a weeder. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll pass. You're just jealous because I have another older male friend. Can you find one? 
dice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brothers are both absolutely still into Dungeons and Dragons. I played with them when I was younger, but they still get together on Sunday nights. This is great. So screw it. Screw what? Screw high school. Help me, Kate! Wear a helmet! I want to know more about what yeah, she saw. Yeah, something's going on with her. They're obviously playing something up with her character. She's going into the woods. Hmm. Yeah, why is she just okay? God, I'm just trying to picture all the stuff that we went through in the first three seasons. This can't. Oh! That's not creepy at all. Sorry, there's uh, there's nothing to worry about, okay? Dude, I'm getting a vibe that he is done so this episode. It's plenty of bang for your buck. Should last you a while. Do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? On a daily basis. This isn't the first time that we've um hung out. I'm sorry. That's okay. You don't remember me? I'm sorry. Middle school, talent show. You're doing this cheer thing. Are we seeing the classic 80s thing where the, the high school loser, so to speak, gets the, the popular girl? You mean like the breakfast club? <laughs> <laughs> Judd Nelson and Molly Ringwald? Yes. You're not what I thought you'd be like. Mean and scary? I actually kind of thought you'd be kind of mean and scary today. The good news, flattery works with me. 15 bucks. Robbie would be blind here. Do you have anything no. stronger? Oh. Dude. Oh, no. Very disappointing, Jay. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's talk after break. F. Can tell she's having feelings about fitting in, feelings about grades. Mm -hmm. I think these emotions are what's going to bring her powers oh, back. So I think I spoke sorry. a half second too early. Definitely. Oh, no, oh. you didn't. Okay, I guess I don't blame her now if she... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In front of everyone. And now everyone's going to think she's really oh, nuts. Shit. What the oh, hell was that? No. Uh, did someone do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I tripped. Oh. I didn't do anything. Tell her, Jay. Tell her. Nah. You deserve it. What a bitch. <laughs> God. I hate that shit. You know, you too. He didn't do shit. No, he didn't. He just stood there. And I get like he's not, you know, but he still, he just stood there. Oh, Hopper's broke. One more thing. Joyce. Are you there? Joyce! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's just going nuts. He's <laughs> it broke. He's super paranoid. Yeah. Oh, Letter. Finally. Hop, Hop is, alive. is alive. Look. Oh, oh God. I just saw Hop is alive. What else did it say? She's having good because I have this massive crush. I'm sorry. We, we took a, um, a massively hard class together. Busted. Hey, sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, he's going to be so pissed that they're not there. They skipped the championship game for the Hellfire Club. So this is Sinclair's infamous sister. What's your class and level? Level one dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm a chaotic, good half elf rogue level 14. And I will sneak behind any monster you throw my way and stab them in the back with my poison so cuckoo. -cree. And I'll smile as I watch them die a slow, agonizing death. <laughs> Whoa! <Scold them. laughs> One ready for the <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Hellfire. Do you flee Vecna and his cultists? Sinclair, you're in. You're in. Time to go. Dude, I just can't. He's going to be so pissed because they're going to win the championship and they're over there playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh. 
which will give us all season long tension. But then when the time comes, look at you foreshadowing. That nun just decimated us. We can't kill him with two players. You too? He only has 15 hit points left. Don't be pussies. Pussies? Really? Because we're not delusional? Whilst I respect the passion, you'd be wise to take Gareth the Great's concern to heart. Gareth the Great. What do you say, Lady Applejack? You really gotta ask? Let's kill the son of a bitch. Just get me the ball. Get me the ball. Uh, uh. Is he really gonna miss it? Oh, he. Oh, Sinclair's got the rebound. Pop it. Pop it. Take the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. His sister and him taking the last shots. Look at that. She's going <laughs> to she's gonna win, and he's going to make the winning shot. Look at that shot. Uh, oh. 20. Boom. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh, he's going to be so pissed. He made the game winning shot and none of them were there. Okay. Now he's going to be super popular. And the other kids left behind. Remember, he wanted the other guys to come with him to the game. Oh, geez. Yeah. This is going to get messy. Oh. And all that joy is just gone. Oh. All that joy that he had, and then he sees him and just gone. Drop a comment if you had wood paneling in your house in the 80s. <laughs> Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Never mind. I was going to say, they zoomed in on that fridge. Yeah, I was going to say that. I think there was something in the fridge that I might have missed. Oh, dude, something bad's going to happen here. No. She lives next to him? The special K. How long to kick in? Depends if you snort it or not. No, oh, no, don't do this. You sure you have it? Somewhere. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, it's kicking in, dude. What's she going to see this time? We saw some weird ass feet, some weird ass spiders. Watch him come out as some sort of oh, creature no, 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 and no, 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 she attacks Eddie. him and You're going to look absolutely beautiful. Interesting. Clearly she's not in the trailer anymore. You know what this feels like? Um God, this feels like the original nightmare in Elm Street. Jesus! You think she's actually gonna accidentally gonna take him out? What the? F is she possessed? Oh my god, she's possessed. Uh, Chris Eddie, like Jet, dude. Hey, Chrissy, wake up. But how did what? that get to her? Chrissy, wake up! I oh, this is gonna like end this. bad. Chrissy, wake up! Got swamp thing over here. What is that? Welcome to the new. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's creepy as hell. Don't cry, Chrissy. It's time for your suffering to end. What the fuck? Oh my god, what? Oh, 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 God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh God, dude. Oh. That's other end in episode one. Oh, <laughs> what? What did we just see right there? Oh, uh, man. Uh, oh, God. Dude, the jaw, the jaw was yeah, like- Yeah, the arm, all of it. <laughs> uh, oh, you wanna go first or you want me to? Uh, what wow. do you think of that one? Wow, I don't, I have no idea. 
what to think that's i mean the first few seasons were were different right very very different from other tv shows that we've seen before um they had their own scary moments and, and aspects of, of horror but this was just on a whole different level um this thing was cooking dude yeah you know and the thing is is we saw like a, a, a weird start and then you know some stuff with 11 and then of course the basketball game and the D D, and i did not well to say i didn't expect it to take that kind of turn of course i didn't i mean that was by far uh the most hardcore scene uh, at least that i can remember in, in four seasons of this television show um i wish that i could give like a, a review um i think a couple of things that we're setting up for um clearly um 11 l she's going through jane now um is going through some serious um emotional stuff that a lot of you know kids who aren't the most mm -hmm. popular go through when they're going through high school um, I see the storyline that we're getting between the other characters in that division. Again, you know, this is a serious movie, so I hate to like reference like older, you know, 80s movies, but we see that in a lot of 80s movies. You know, I'm a huge fan of the movie Can't Buy Me Love, and, and a big part of that storyline is that like the jocks and the, the nerds were all friends as kids and then grew apart and then didn't like each other. Um, and I think that's what we're getting into right now as we're showing. And, and that's a very real thing. And I think a lot of us have have uh have either dealt with that or seen that um and so you have that you have the split of the friends being set up um i think um uh, 11 you know tried to use her powers um which <laughs> sure which did. failed but i think we're <laughs> she's going through so much emotional stuff that i think we're gonna we're gonna see those come back of course hopper we're finding out that he's still alive i mean there was so much in this episode and they just they threw like everything at you you know like everything at you in this episode and uh just i'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around it i definitely have to go back and watch again like you said there was a few scenes where the letter from hopper yeah, um, i want to see what the rest of that said it was very quick and i think they did that on purpose like hopper okay well now we gotta go back and pause it um there's a little bit too much focus on what was in the refrigerator, but I didn't see everything and I missed it. Um, so it could just be over speculating, but a great first episode, but a, a shocker, a big time shocker. And drop a comment below if when you watched that final scene, if you felt like it was, I, I felt Nightmare on Elm Street, the original Nightmare on Elm Street vibes with the pastel colors, yes. the stairs and stuff like that. That's what I got from that. But let us know um, if it reminded you of any classic 80s horror movies. Yeah, the, the vibe of this uh, season four here in this opener. I don't know. I, know. I don't know if you made the cut or not. But again, I don't know what I was expecting coming in. But that opener didn't expect that. What came after is what I expected with the car wash of showing everyone where they're currently at and their stories but then that ender wow i was really i like how they they let that marinate throughout the episode with the cheerleader chrissy where i kept saying in my head like what are we gonna get it this episode because i know sometimes it, you know it'll be the next episode they'll just have something crazy happen but we got introduced to the new i would say villain basically of the season for our gang to take on uh, again, there were some highs and lows in this one, but the roller coaster ride was fun. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, what episode one, what, six? There's six more in this uh, first half. Seven total in the first half. Yep. I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in these ones. I'm pretty sure you, uh, if you're watching it this far into this re uh, review so far, you've seen all of them. You've seen <laughs> plenty of reactions. But folks, just drop uh, drop your comments down below of what you thought right away. Um, Again, it was great seeing all the characters. We got introduced to some new ones with Eddie. I thought he was going to be a goner this first episode. Mm -hmm. Kind of glad he made it now because I, I had that really had the vibe of we're going to take him out. We're going to give you all this about Eddie, and then we're just going to take him away. Yeah, I, but, I kind of felt the same thing going into it that maybe we weren't going to see Eddie make it through the end of the first episode. And ironically, you know, he's the one playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm, it's funny that they did touch on that. So we we did play that growing up. 
um, you know, we still, me and my brothers and some of our the neighbor kids, we all still did like sports and stuff like that. But we definitely had, we had a mixed crew and, and we played Dungeons and Dragons and we had all the, the Dungeon Master books and stuff like that, <laughs> the hardcover ones. And I remember creating your characters. We definitely had the, the 20-sided die and stuff like that. Um, but so that was kind of funny. But there was a thing that was abs ac actually discussed is whether it was, you know, had you know ties in, 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 in satanic stuff yeah it's weird like when you look back at like the the, the 80s like even like with music like motley Crue and kiss they're kiss. satan worshipers and now like you look back on that and you think like just laugh no it's just a bunch of dudes singing about like party and, and gimmicks yeah, and you gimmicks, know? The gimmick soul. but at the time that was like real discussions is this music yes. for satan worship uh the 80s were a wild time but um uh, I tell you what, uh, we're really looking forward to chapter two, but that is going to do it for us. So from Diamond Dave to Moan, the Appleton Oak, we are going to wrap it up. Season four, episode one, the Hellfire Club. We'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>